Hello guys and welcome back. In this video I'm going to give you all the specifications and also I will be doing a review of this wireless ultrasound probe by Dr. Sono. If you haven't already, go and watch the unboxing video of this beautiful probe first and thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. So let's start. This is a portable ultrasound scanner with three scan options, linear, curved and face array. This probe has a battery life of three to five hours with Wi-Fi access that can be connected by Android phone, tablet, iPad, iPhone and Windows PC. With the scanning options, you can obtain images for 15 medical specialities like obstetrics, vascular, abdominal, and cardiac. Dr. Sono's scanner is waterproof for easy cleaning, weights 260 grams, and produces HD images. The price of the scanner on their website is about 3500 You can also request a 14-day free trial, which is excellent to properly see if this probe is what you need. And the charging time is around 2 hours. I'm leaving you here more specifications about the scanner, However, you can get all the information in their website, drsono.com. So, how to use the scanner? Actually, starting to use the scanner, it's very simple with just three steps. First, download the app. Then, connect the scanner with your device using Wi-Fi and start scanning. You can measure, save and send images from your device. Just in case you haven't seen my last video, this is the TreeScan Max Portable Wireless Ultrasound Scanner. I really enjoyed using this device and I'm going to show you some of the images I managed to obtain with this scanner. You can take this device anywhere with you as it's very portable, lightweight and ergonomic. It's very easy to charge and to connect with your mobile, computer or tablet. After downloading the app, just turn the scanner on and it's very simple to make the connection between the scanner and the device. Here you can see how much battery is left for you to use. This device is very useful to perform point-of-care ultrasound in emergency or the ITU setting or even in places where you need to give a quick look. And this scanner is waterproof, which is another amazing feature, making it very simple and easy to clean. To turn it off, just hold the central button. And now I'm going to show you some of the images and videos I managed to obtain with this device. So let's start. I'm going to show you a few videos I took with the TreeScan Max, starting with this beautiful parasternal long axis view. You can clearly see the chambers and the valves. Now I'm selecting end mode and I'm placing the cursor across the left ventricle. In this video you can see that I'm going to be playing around with the views and all the tools. You can move the cursor in real time and this end mode of the mitral valve and the aortic valve are very nice. You can clearly see the aortic valve leaflets moving and opening and closing in the M mode. Now I'm selecting color Doppler. You can move the color Doppler box 
and I'm placing the color Doppler on top of the valves. What do you think about the color Doppler? I will show you a few images I took with this device. Now you can see here the parasternal short axis view at the papillary muscle level. Now I'm selecting M mode and placing the cursor across the left ventricle. This M mode also looks very nice. Let's continue to the parasternal short axis view at the aortic valve level. I think the definition is very nice for a portable device. You can even see the aortic valve cusps. And again, I'm using color Doppler on top of the pulmonary and aortic valve. It's very simple to use color Doppler and to change back to 2D. Sorry, just ignore that notification. <laughs> it was challenging to obtain the supersternal view because of the size of the scanner. However, I managed to obtain an image of the aortic arch with color Doppler as well. You can even move the baseline and increase and decrease the gain. You can also freeze and save every picture and video. Now have a look at the pulse wave Doppler. What do you think about this pulse wave Doppler of the descending aorta? There is definitely a learning curve, but you can do so much with this device and with this app, even sending the videos and pictures you took. This is a focused LV view from the apical four chamber view. The image quality is very nice. You can clearly see the mitral valve. Also, you can increase and decrease the depth. Even though it's a portable device, you have loads of tools you can use to go the extra mile with your analysis. And sorry again for the notification. I was using my mobile. <laughs> So now I'm changing to the pulse wave Doppler to try the mitral valve inflow. You can move the cursor around and adjust the baseline to obtain a better pulse wave Doppler. And you can clearly see here the E wave and the A wave. The more you use it, the more you're going to get used to. And I'm very pleased with the image quality and all the tools and all the things you can do on the app. Now let's come back to the color Doppler. Now I'm placing the color Doppler on top of the mitral valve. And now I'm showing you some subcostal views. Here you can clearly see the endocardium and the left ventricle, the mitral valve and the aortic valve. What do you think so far about the image quality and all the ultrasound tools you can use with this app? And to finalize, I'm going to show you another super sternal view from a different person. This time the image is more clear and also I'm trying the color Doppler on the descending aorta. What do you think about the color Doppler? Let me know in the comments. So this is my review of the TreeScan Max portable ultrasound scanner. Portability 10 of 10. The device is very portable, lightweight, and you can take it anywhere without problem. 8 of 10 for being user friendly. The app and the device are super user friendly, very easy to operate, but you do still have to make all the connections through the Wi Fi. Image quality 8 of 10. I do think the images are very good for a portable device. M mode 10 of 10. Definitely the M mode is just beautiful and it was my favorite echocardiographic tool. 
Pulse Wave Doppler 7 of 10 and Color Doppler 6 of 10. I feel there is still place for improvement for these tools. Price versus value definitely 10 of 10. I mean, you can use this scanner for 15 medical specialties. And the customer service is definitely a 10 of 10. Customer service is amazing. They answer all your questions and they are always there to help. So let me know what you think about this device. I will leave all the information on the description box and thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. Bye!